Good morning. It is Friday, May 6th. Just 10 more days of school. I'm Luke. And I'm Kaysen. And welcome to this episode of Tiger Vision News. FCA and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym at lunch today. Pizza is provided and everyone is welcome to attend. Now please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Pete's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center, Muskogee Powder Coating, The Tigers Did, Reaction Wraps, Dr. Coy and Dr. Duroset, The Learning Nest, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care, and Armstrong Bank. Congratulations to ICTC students who recently competed in state contests. Alyssa Irons placed first in t-shirt design. She will now be competing in nationals in Atlanta, Georgia to represent Oklahoma. Caden Philpott placed second in F Food Innovations and Austin Wilson got second in Hard Surface Maintenance. Braden Callahan placed third in Information Technology Services. Congrats to you all and get this, the Landon Beebe, Brody Rainbow and Ethan White earned their Oklahoma welding certification through the Department of Labor. If you were one of the first 25 students to sign up for driver's ed this summer, we ask that you please make payments to the high school office by next Tuesday, May 10th. If you are on the waiting list, you will be notified after this date if you will be accepted. The high school will be offering credit recovery again this summer for any who have failed a core class and would like to retake it to recover the credit. If you are interested, see Mr. French or Ms. Adney. Now, Aiden, tell us about our upcoming weather forecast, and please don't tell me there is more rain on the way. Today, we will finally get to dry out a little bit with clear skies and highs in the lower 70s. Moving into the weekend, we will have even more sunshine with highs in the 80s. A couple of perfect days to have a picnic or to take a hike with your mom for Mother's Day if it's not too wet. Moving into Monday, we will have even more sunshine with highs in the upper 80s. This is a slight chance for rain moving in on Tuesday through the rest of the week. We'd like to thank News on 6 for this week's weather graphic. And now a word from one of our sponsors. The team at New Direction Dental has a passion for giving you a brighter and healthier smile. We use the latest and most up-to-date technology paired with outstanding patient care. Dr. Rouse enjoys creating the perfect individual smile for each patient using dental implants, Invisalign, and veneers to name a few. We're not just about beautiful smiles. New Direction Sleep Care also helps diagnose and treat sleep disorders. We know getting a good night's sleep leads to a healthier and productive lifestyle. Whether your sleep cycle or your your smile needs a new direction, contact us today. We would love to help you. Dr. Brant Rouse and Associates, New Direction Dental and Sleep Care. Sophomores and juniors, June is a great month to take the ACT. You've just accomplished a full academic year and your scores may reveal areas in need of improvement. And don't forget that you can purchase a test information release, which includes an official copy of the test questions, the answer key, and the answers you submitted. The deadline for the June 11th test is today. The sign-up sheet for FFA Alumni Leadership Camp is posted in Mr. Osborne's classroom. The dates for the camp are June 26th through 29th, and there are seven spots available. The cost to attend the camp is $230. If you, if you have questions, please contact Mr. Osborne and Mr. Bowles. Now let's check in on this week's sports update. Good morning, Tiger Nation. I'm Coach London. I'm here with... Uh, I'm Jason. Well, that's Jason. And so uh, we're here to recap 
uh, last week's uh, sports and, and what's going on this week. So yeah, thanks uh, for tuning in. We've uh, we've enjoyed doing this. Got maybe this week, next week, and then who knows what happens. Yeah, ESPN this year's comes calling. ESPN, the Deuce or the <laughs> Ocho, something. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> well, tell me about the baseball team, Coach. Okay, baseball. Last week we uh, played Salina yep. on Friday, and uh, Salina brought in a couple of good pitchers and did a great job. Uh, we scored late in the uh, in the bottom of the sixth right. and uh, held off a furious rally by Salina. They had a triple to start out the seventh, you know, the top of the seventh, but we held him. We stranded him there at uh, third base, and so uh, it was a big win right there. Just trying to keep our skills. Uh, good, get ready to go into right. regional tournament. Right, and then we got rained out Monday. We were going to broadcast that game, got rained out. Uh, but as they're headed to the regional tournament, they're 22 and 6 on the season. Um, started here yesterday at Car Odell Field Park. And uh, if you guys get a chance, go check them out uh, up on top of the hill about the Tiger Tower. You can't miss them. Good, good guys, good yeah. games. and Good and game, good opponents, Cushing, Holland Hall, Sky Took. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be fun. Right. We've had good crowds all year. So, yeah. Uh, get out there and support the baseball. And the winner of that will head to state. Yeah, it's back to back, hopefully. And yeah. so that's what the plan is, and uh, really proud of our guys. Yeah. Lady Tigers soccer had a big blowout win against Wagner here on uh, Monday night with a 5-0 win. Um, first round of playoffs, and then they played last night. We didn't have the results, but uh, 5-0 win is pretty good. I mean, 10 goals good, but, you know, 5 five's okay, too. Sure, sure. So. Uh, you know, took care of business there. Played uh, Metro last night. Right which was a repeat, you know, a run back game of the state finals last year. So, uh, you know, we, it's going to be a really good game. I'm, I, I feel good about where we're at. Yeah. So it's weird talking about it uh, <laughs> early and it hasn't happened. But it's by the time magic. you see this, it will have happened. It's TV magic. Don't give it away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. So Congratulations and the, to yeah, our girls. And the Tigers soccer went to uh, Metro Christian Tuesday night, got rained out Monday, went to Tuesday. Uh, and then they, uh, they went in double overtime, tied up 2-2. An unbelievable ball game. Uh, so exciting. Uh, so proud of our guys. We got down early. Then we scored two goals in a matter of about a minute, wow. which doesn't happen in soccer. So that's crazy. But, you know, we fought back. They tie it. We go to extra time, two periods. You know, it's tied. Go to a shootout, which is exciting. very exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, just battled all the way through. Right. Really want to give a shout out to Kyle Hinkle. You know, our goalies, Kyle, he did a good job, you know, uh, fighting early in the game. And then we brought in Scout Taylor, who made some unbelievable saves when we had to have him. Right. And so, um, you know, of course, he, Scout was there in the uh, shootout. And, you know, that's hard to stop it from that close. Yeah, and uh, we just had a lot of confidence in him. We yeah. were standing over there. And, and sure enough, our guys made the goals and Scout stopped that one. So what a great win. And now we're off. To Hilldale. Going to Hilldale. And so that game happened last night. Uh, we'll have the results for you uh, next week here on uh, Tiger Vision News because um, we didn't have the results when we right, recorded this. Right. So, so uh, next up, our Tracksters. They competed at the regional tournament and then had some had very very many actually uh, placers and state qualifiers rolling uh, running through the, the regional tournament. It's really been a good track season, and so we've got a lot of state qualifiers, which right. we're going to. Talk yeah, about Katie it. Smith, uh, wow. place first in the 100 meter hurdles. Addie Whiteley, 400 meter dash, first place uh, in the 110 hurdles. Josh Miller. And then we had some placers. Katie Smith in third in the 100 meter dash. Addie Whiteley, third in 800 meter run. Zach Hardy in third in the 110 meter hurdles. Uh, Sydney Terry, uh, 100 meter hurdles, fourth place. Uh, Cooper Glasgow got third in the 3,200 meter long distance. I'm not doing that run. Yeah. And, uh, and then yeah. in the relays, uh, the 4 by 100 third place for Braylon McComb, Cade Waggle, Zach Hardy, and Toby West. Yeah, they really did a good job. They've done a good job all year. Right. Um, working hard. They're having a lot of success. Um, yeah, Josh Miller. Oh, let's talk about Josh Miller real quick. I mean, uh, that guy, he's unbelievable right now. Yeah. He's, he's winning hurdles. He's out there running races. He, he ran junior high track, was out a few years. Then he got interested in it again. And, and uh, we've got a lot of success stories. But uh, just a shout out to him. Yeah. Really done a good job. Yeah, really cool. Tiger golf team advanced to the regional tournament in Kingfisher in between the rain and the wind and all that mess. Sure. Uh, Coach Shelton and the boys rolled into Kingfisher. And, of course, it is a muddy mess. And um, it got – cut down from 36 holes down to 18 but our guys played hard they ended up fifth like you said uh just outside of qualifying for state but right. uh 
shot a good score. I think Coach was happy. You know, uh, didn't make it, but uh, I thought they really competed well. On the bright side, uh, Cooper Crawley. He did. Individually, he's going to head to state uh, this week. And uh, so good luck to him and good job for you. uh, The whole team out there did a great job. Right. Held us up strong. Congrats. Uh, We'll let you know next week how Cooper does at the state tournament. Uh, The girls regional, um, actually, that happened a week ago. Right. So they're at state. They're at state. They've been at state the last couple days. Yes. They're finishing up today. Right. And so. yeah, they're at Cushing in the state tournament. Uh, you know, last year, Lane Alshai finished second as an individual, right. as a state runner-up. And, and our team, you know, we have a lot of girls back from last year. So, you know, yeah. th- they've played well all year, and we expect, you know, more right. of the same. So we're excited to, to see how that ends up. Yeah, so good luck to all the girls at, at the state tournament. And as always, uh, wishing our Sporting Tigers and Lady Tigers the best of luck. We'll be right back after this. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Today is physical day for all of next year's 6th through 12th grade athletes. Band members and managers, pick up your form in the high school office or from your coach. It must be filled out before you have your physical. Congratulations to Peyton Bollinger who recently signed to Redlands Community College in El Reno. Peyton will be on the agricultural bee show team at Redland. He has been actively involved in Fort Gibson's FFA program for several years. Congratulations, and we wish you the best of luck at the next level, Peyton. Hey, Kason, have you seen the big TVs by the auditorium doors? I, yes, I have, and I actually got the chance to talk to Mr. Wicks about it. Recently, you might have noticed something new in the hall of the auditorium. There's been a TV installed to keep us updated on upcoming sports events and bulletins. Uh, this TV actually was installed uh, by me. Um, actually, it is a, it's a purchase from the drama department. And uh, we show her musicals, we show them um, out here for students and for patrons that aren't able to be in the auditorium. Maybe they've got a kid that comes at a night and kind of a little bit, uh, little bit unhappy or got to change a diaper or whatever. So, so they, they can come out here and still kind of keep up with the show. Um, we don't really have a specific number of displays to install. Um, what we're looking to do is making sure that you can tell what time it is so that maybe if you're trying to you know, be on time for class, um, in, in the hallway enough to know what time it is. So probably in the high school, we're looking to add uh, probably four to maybe five or six uh, total. In the middle school, adding a couple and having one or two down at the elementary buildings. It is exciting to have more of these installed in our hallways. It can help students in the future know deadlines and important dates. Thank you to all those who helped get these TVs installed. This has been Casey Nares reporting for Tiger Vision News. The TV is pretty awesome, and I think it was much needed. I agree. It helps me keep up with important dates and my friend's birthday, too. Enrollment forms are due ne- for, uh, for next year are due now. Drop them off at the counselor's office today. Attention seniors, there will be a final senior meeting next Wednesday at 1030 in the high school auditorium. It's important that you attend this meeting so that we can discuss details about senior appreciation, graduation, and senior checkout procedures. Don't forget that this Sunday is Mother's Day. Remember to give your mom some time and love and thank her for all she does. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Tiger Vision News. I'm Luke. And I'm Kaysen. Remember, stay cool, Tigers. See you back here next time on Tiger Tiger Vision Vision News. News.